play d3 and take. Queen e2 and c3 maybe. It's not a girl again, you guys. It's not a girl. That's um, that's just an, that's like an Armenian kitty. He's like 15 years old. So he can go bishop e3. Go here, bishop c2 maybe. I want to play d4 and knight e5 at some point. Maybe rook c1 first. Thank you, Nick Fasco, for the tier one. Thank you so much, man. Let's go here. Armenia, you say? Yes, he is. He is Armenian, but don't, don't really go there with that. I mean, Krikor's Armenian too, for example. So let, let's not just classify people just because of that. Let's go rookie one and takes. Um, how does Knight F7 not work? Oh man, really? I'm gonna go for it anyway. Oh wait, but he can just take? Go back? Oh wait, no, I can take with the queen. Okay, it's still okay. No, it's not a clear tactic here, but he's using too much time. Go here. Free move rookie three. Scrub Somming is ruining Hikaru. No, no, no. I mean, I, I'm doing just fine this game. You need another G Fuel scoop. Um, but now I think I take this juicer and I take the rooks. When he trades, I just take and bring the king up, and it should be winning. But maybe not. Oh, this one I got to jack the music up. Go here in a3, maybe put everything on dark. Okay, if I go here, he has to take. I'm gonna go here. Put everything on dark. Very important here. Uh, let's just take. Go here. Takes. I think I'm winning here. Let's go here. Maybe king d4. Maybe bishop e2. Go here. Here, maybe h5, h6. Okay, but now I check and I push the pawn and he loses.
No H4 because I take the juicer. And then I go to H5, Knight of 4, Knight of 4, everything is good. Knight of 2 is actually a very good move. Um, I really combat that. That's surprisingly strong. I'm going to go here. And here, here. Okay, let's turn the sound back down. I think I'll go 95 and take here, maybe. Just, uh, just go here, I'm gonna take and maybe go E5. <laughs> I guess he takes with the F pawn, yeah. I'll go E5, consolidate the center block. And I want to go here and attack this way. Maybe B5 at some point. I'm going to be able to flag him here. Let's go here. For different folks. I'm definitely going to play on the queen side. I just have to figure out the right order of piece placement. What was the song earlier? Which song? Let's go here. Oh, Darude, you mean Sandstorm? Is that the song you guys mean? Let's go here, Rook A8. No B5, so you can still take. So I gotta scoot the king, and queen and then push. And B4, I always take, or Queen D6. So now I'm trying, okay, but now I take and go this way. And now I think there's pressure up both both points. This guard? I can't take any he infiltrates with the queen. Wait, if I take, 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 take. Oh, he's going for a dirty stalemate. Oh, he's going for dirty stalemates. That's a problem. That's actually a real problem here. I just take this way. Because if I win this juicer, it's stalemate. So I think I go A3. Rook C3 maybe? I go here. Just bring the juicers over like... Oh, but now I get Rook A8. Wait, but now I... Take, can he take, can I take? Oh, he had rook, oh, he had a stalemate there. Oh, he missed it, okay. Goes back. How do I even escape? I don't know if I can. About a three. Here, but I run and I escape. I escape. <sighs> Very close. He's got no time, so I escape. And now I just ladder him. I ladder him this way. No, FM is not female master. FM is Fide master, you guys. FM is Fide master. Stop being weird. Let's go D4, Knight F3. Go e4. Uh, let's play bishop e3, queen d2, rook c1. I 
going to take. 3200, yeah, it's, it's decent. It could be better, it could be worse. Yeah, this, I think bishop d3? Or is it king e1? I think I'm going to go king e1. Because I have knight a5. I'm going to play bishop c5 and take, or bishop b4. Play Narrow Ditsky, but he's busy. He's playing someone else right now. Need ceiling cam. Yes, yeah, it's funny, you guys. Very funny. Go, I'm gonna go here in d6. If knight c6, just bishop b5. I don't remember how this line goes. But I think if I go king e2, I'm okay here, or do I have to play e5? I'm gonna play knight d2 and f3. Just consolidate everything here. I'm not from San Diego, no, but I was there uh, last weekend. Well, uh, yeah, if you get in time scramble, so it's complicated. Um, I think it's 68 for the tier 1. I think it's Chino for the 5. Ludwig for the 4. I think it's Feathery as well for the uh, 19 months. Thank you so much. Let's just take. And, I mean, I feel like I should be better here somehow. Go F3, Knight, C4, maybe? Maybe I have E5. He's going to go E5 himself. Let's go Knight, C4. I think I can go... Hmm. Maybe just king f2 and rook d1, idea d7. Let's go here, knight a5. I mean, what's it, king e8, king d7 or something? Knight a5, rook c8. I have d7? No, no, it's no. Well, d7 here, here? No. Just go here. d7, takes, takes. c7. I have no good continuation. Ah. I guess I could do this, but it doesn't work. Takes and takes, maybe? Takes, I take. Let's go here. I create some kind of small advantage, but it still is not going to be enough. I'm going to go here. Got to open up the structure. Okay, that somehow feels wrong. I feel like he's misplaying this just a little bit. I can play... I think I go f5 and h4. Here I take. Definitely I gotta push this pawn up the board. Okay, let's go here. Whoa, thank you, Adventures with Peaches, for the five gifted. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, it's a very heavy end game. Should I go here or here? He's got no time, though. Again, I'm going to be able to flag him. Because here I go here and laterally the king has no way back to stop the pawn. Let's try to adopt Krikor. Gonna go watch the NLCS. Good lucky card. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Hope you're doing well. 
Um, let's play h5, why not? Go b5, maybe d6, e6. Tani wants to play? <laughs> I should have gone d6, I don't know why I didn't play d6 first, but it's still a game. Go here, maybe knight f6, knight e7, maybe bishop b7. You, Ikar, the camera is crispy. Thank you. I mean, I'm gonna try to adopt him, and then um, and then I'll maybe I'll move on. Uh, adoption means winning ten games in a row against somebody. Let's go here, maybe c5, e5. A lot of options. Uh, I'm gonna play c5. This is actually quite risky. I'm blundering. I think he had something that was probably very dastardly and bad for me, but he missed it. Let's just go here, maybe. I always have c4. I also have e5. I think I'm going to play e5. Ask him which way he's willing to chop. And we have the diamond. Okay, he goes d5. I kind of expected that. Now i got to find some way to blast her on the queen side. Or I can just castle maybe and go king b8, knight d7. And b4, knight d7. Not great, but it's a game. So here, he's going to go... Oh no, knight b3, I have a fork. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Knight b3, I'm gonna play knight a4. And then stop him from jumping with the horse. I'm play knight a4. I really want to kick this knight somehow. So I'm gonna go like rook c8 maybe. Let's go here. No knight a5s, so I cover that. Okay, I can play c4 if I want. Is he really is c4 really a problem? I don't think it is, so I'm gonna offer the trade of the horses. Because c4, I go b4. Yeah, I play g4. I expected that. I think I can play c4 now to kick the knight. Let's go f5. Trade, trade, trade. He loses, so I'll pre-move this. F4, bishop g5, just rook f8 is good. Uh, what is this? Here, here? I think his bishop is kind of stuck. I mean, I guess he has this. Can take. I can also just go like queen, no, I think I go, hmm. Rook h6 is a move. I think I'm just gonna go here to guard. Okay, rook 2 one logical. He's going all in here. Now I can take, but I don't like it. I also have b4. No, okay, I just gotta calm down and think for a second. Look at this. 94, 95, 96, or 58. And whatever, let's just go for it. Takes, I'm gonna go with 58. If takes, takes, he loses the juicer. Oh, he's got 94 back, and oh, I missed knight f6. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, whoa, I just missed knight f6. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, at least I have rook d7, and it's still a game, but oh, yo, yo, that was bad. Wait, what's this? If I take? I don't understand. I just take. What? Wait a second, wait a second. This can't be right. He doesn't have here because I take, I take. And now I just win. Let's just eat the juicer. Maybe I go here actually. Takes, takes, I come back. I also check. I also check take, but I think I just take this juicer.
Now I come back, go here. I'm gonna just go here on bishop d4. Just hit the juicer, I have this check. Here, and now I just win check. Check, and I win. Just eat the juicer, eat the, eat the juicer up here. Okay, we keep going. It's four, six to go. Fado, Budapest, Alabama, Khrushchev, Princess Grace, Peyton Place, trouble in the Suez. Thank you to Guru Logic for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Uh, this order is wrong, I think. Just take. Let's go d4 here on bishop e3. Crickworth said all these doing it's better than the other matches. Probably because I've had too much G fuel. I feel a little bit hyper, not gonna lie. Let's play f5, maybe g4, g5. I think I go queen g4 or bishop f4. Let's go here and take. If f6, I drop back, go here and then here. Uh, let's go here, 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 and rotate the knight. I think I'm gonna go here and go for the kill him. Oh, he's got this. He misses it. Okay, let's go here. Rookie six is coming. Do I have rookie six here? Maybe, maybe not. I have knight h5, but I think I'm just gonna consolidate with c3 here. Probably a mistake because of rookie seven. Okay, so let's trade. Let's go here. I'm gonna go here, here. Rotation time. Oh, he's got that. Okay, so what? Knight of 496. Cut the square. Hit this, hit that. Let's go here. King F3, maybe. Hit the juicer. Knight D5 is a big threat. Let's play H4. Okay, a5 doesn't really concern me that much. I think I can just keep steamrolling ahead. I'm gonna go g6. h5, h6. Looks pretty bad for my opponent. Looks bad for Krikor. Here and I guess h6 and I just win. Let's just keep rolling. Roll with the punches. I take. I go. I can maybe go h7. Force the king into the edge. Okay, takes. I go here. I want to go like. Wait, why isn't knight h5 just winning? Go here. Hit the juicer. I'm threatening just g7 and rook h8, which is just ggs. Because then I make a queen. Yeah, I saw that, but I thought. Takes, I go here, check, hold, win. Takes, and mate, check, here, GG's. Okay. I think I just go, like, maybe just back and guard laterally. Take if we got one I block, I come up, easy win. Uh 
Okay, let's play, um, let's play more, more of this. Let's go here, d5 maybe. Halfway to adoption papers. Yeah, but we need five more to get there. Oh no, but it's plus one now. Oh no. It's plus one point. Oh, this is unfortunate. That's really annoying. Um, I don't want to take. Let's go here, here. Plus one means I gain one point per game, and that's generally pretty bad in terms of ranking the MMR. gonna take this he takes I take at least I have an open line for my rook now and I can even go to a3 maybe I also have like this to hit the rook and then just drop back okay goes rook c1 back if I go rook a3 takes, I can take. So let's just go here and just put the bitch back on b6 where it targets everything. Let's go here. You can take and go with like g4, but I still can just go back. Maybe knight f8 at some point too is a move. Okay, maybe knight b8, knight c6. Let's fork the queen and the rook and take. Okay, I should be okay here. I just need to play this precisely. Let's trade the rooks. I don't care about this juicer. Oh, but he's got bishop f6. Oi. Or if I take and come back, I'm still okay. Yeah, this is not an easy position, but now I should win pretty cleanly. Let's just bring the king back. The rook g8, maybe move my queen. Uh, let's go here, cut the square. Okay, but now I just go here, and I just need to rotate my rook, basically. Let's go here. Let's run with the king. It's actually quite dangerous still. Um, like very dangerous. I'm gonna go king b6. Maybe queen b4. I've gotta do something over here on the uh, queen side or I'm just gonna actually lose. He's got one, two, three, four, five. But I think he's a little bit too slow with this because now my queen infiltrates. And then I get rook c, okay. Go here. Goes here and then I go here. And he comes back and I then my queen starts jumping, I, I thought. Let's think about this. Hmm. Oh, here maybe? King is safe temporarily. I can always go b6. He's gonna have to waste a tempo going this way. I thought I could take maybe. Four is no good. Uh, maybe queen. Maybe just rook h8 actually. Hit the juicer. He can't go over so he loses this one. He comes up, I go down, and I go down. Whoa! Thank you to Spraggy for the host. Thank you so much, man. I think it's an offline host, but thank you to Spraggy for the host with 159. Thank you so much, man. No, rook c5 is what I wanted, but I don't think it was. Oh, b6 blunders queen a6, and I get mated. Oi, oi, oi. Um. How do I do this? I feel like I should be winning somehow. I'm gonna go here. Go here. I think I try to jump now this way. Operator. Go here. I'm gonna run my king back over this way now. So I can take 
check back. Let's take. So I can run my king around. Okay, but now he's just lost. I go check. Let's go here, hit the juicer. I check, and it's more right triangles. Should be a game over. Here he gets mated or he gets mated that way, no matter where he goes. We're six. Four more to go. Does the adoptive player have to change the last name in Akira? No, they don't. Thank you, Dumpus, for the five. Joe Habib for the five. Thank you, Link Diablo, as well. Thank you so much to Link Diablo. Thank you. Let's go here and take. Let's go here and C4 and B3. I haven't lost the game to Krikor, but um, but that's like not doesn't really mean anything. I'm going to go B3. If Bishop A6, I think I'll go Bishop B2 or Knight E5. Knight E5 looks crushing. Operator. Operator. My God, this really shows the gap between grandmasters. I, I mean, it's blitz. Let's be let's be clear. Like, I would not. For example, if this is classical chess, I would not adopt Krikor. There's no chance of it. Um, whereas in blitz, there is it. Whereas in blitz, it can happen. But if this was if this was just like you know standard standard OTB, I would never be able to adopt Krikor in, in regular chess. So let, let's let's be clear on that. Go here, here, here. No, no, it's just, it's, that's just reality. I mean, just, just a fact. I'm not even really flexing, that's just a fact. Let's go, uh, maybe here, here, and here. Go here, hit the juicer. Maybe queen f2 even is a nice, nice juicy move to hit the, hit the pawn. Operator. Stop to win Krikor, please. No, no, no. I mean, I no mercy. As the, as the saying goes, you know, strike hard, strike first, no mercy. Um, what is this? Here, 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 and I'm good. So here, 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 maybe. Let's just take and hope. Right. Oh, wait, no, no. I guess I can just go here. And takes here or here, and it's good. Shake, shake. I feel like the arrows have gotten you to FPS level aim. Not exactly. Will Alpha Zero adopt in classical? Yes. Like if Magnus or myself or anybody played a computer, uh, he can't avoid it, the family fork here. He's just getting forked. Um, yes, in classical chess or any form of chess, Alpha Zero would adopt anyone. Whether it's me, whether it's Magnus, we get adopted. Like, you know, Magnus, if Magnus... If Krikor played against us not knowing that it was like an adoption situation, maybe he... maybe. Uh, maybe we could adopt him, but if he knew that the the situation was to adopt him, not even Magnus could beat him ten zero. I don't think, because what he would do is he would start playing a very, very set style with the white pieces um, to avoid that ever happening. Yeah, he he would with white he would play as dry as, as humanly possible, and he would just take it out of the equation. That's, so that's why, like when I say it, it wouldn't happen. Do I have this? I mean, I have Rook A five. Is there some insane rook d2 trick? There is, I think. Oh, it's not easy. Hmm. Let's just go here. I'm gonna just go d5. Force him to trade something. I'm gonna go... This is actually not great. No, really not great. I mean, I'll still flag him, but I'm not very happy with the way I'm gonna win this game. Here. I just take. Go here, maybe. Go here. Oh, not queen. Oh, he had queen d4. I guess he missed that. Um. Hmm. 
Uh, four, I think I just go queen g4 after I take. Thought I'd rook. Wait, what? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's play this with again. <laughs> okay, let's take and go here. Um, let's play a6. Um, let's play e5 this game. Play h5. I actually didn't see it for a second. I almost didn't. I almost missed it because I was expecting him to play queen e5, where he would have hold, held the square to push the pawn, but he went to the wrong one, which allowed that. Okay, let's go knight e7. I'm going to do this weird line. It's slightly dubious. I first looked at this when I was about 13 years old um, in 2000. This whole very extravagant bishop h6, knight g8 line. It's not good, but it's very hard to punish if you're not familiar with it. Krikor already, I think, has failed to punish it. Um, let's go here. a5, a4, of course. i got to stop this. Huh. I'm gonna go f5. F4, I'm gonna play e4. Or maybe I just castle even, I don't know. He's knight d4, knight d5. Very messy. Go here. Oh, he's g4? No, but now I go h4 and rook h5. No, h3 was a bad move, because now I have n peasant also if he pushes. Now I have rook h5. I'm gonna just play rook h5 and knight c5. Or maybe queen c5 actually is good too. Yeah, let's just trade the queens, because then it's a very safe position to play. And then I can just outskill him with knight c5 and a better kingside structure with the knight versus bishop. Let's go here and rook g3, knight c5. And I control the breaks, so this is really, really good. Let's go here. Let's go a5, stop this, a3, b4. Let's go knight f6. Maybe knight h5, knight f4 even. Knight g3 also. Hmm. Okay, I've got to go for it. I don't know which one I'm going, but probably knight f4. Oh, he moved. Okay, let's go here. There. If b4, I think I take and check. Yeah, before I take and check, let's go back. Oh, I had 92. Okay, but now I'll hop anyway. He missed this. Now my knights are just golden. Okay, so he does play b4, I can trade, I can also take the juicer, but then he takes, so I'm just going to be very positional about this. Uh, he has c5. Whatever, let's just do it. Now I thought I had b5 even. Like I thought at b5, because now I can lever the knight also with f4. Yeah, now he's in really he's in really bad shape. Okay, just this. I can also just play like rook b8. Max pressure on these points. He's trying to hold the glue, but I don't think the glue is gonna hold. Whoa, thank you to Halifax. Thank you for the host, man. Thank you for the host with 896 viewers. Thank you so much, Halifax, man. Thank you. Those of you who are coming from Halifax's stream, we are playing some chess right now. Competitive. 
I am trying to adopt my um, my opponent right now, my esteemed fellow Grandmaster. I'm up 8-0, trying to win 10 in a row and, um, and finish him off in style. Halifax is a great city. Let's take and go knight b5 here. Is he actually from Halifax? I don't know. I, I don't actually know. Let's go knight b5. Let's go here and hit the juicer and just laterally win the game, basically. Oh, you are! Oh, nice, nice. Halifax is a cool city. Let's go here, rook d4 and d5. And yes, of course, Halifax is also t TSM uh, as well, so big shout out to Halifax. Let's go check. Let's go here. E4, maybe. I just take the juicer because he's pinned. Just bring the king up. I can go g5. I can also just go here and take, I guess. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Now I have here, I blockade, build the bridge, make a queen, game over. Okay, we're eights up, two more to go. Oh, let's keep playing e4. As, as the famous former world champion Bobby Fischer said, e, e2 to e4, best by test. Let's keep going. He's gonna go here, here. Yeah, M peasant means passing through. Actually, Halifax is from, from Eastern Canada, so I should actually be pr pronounce it correctly. En passant is when a pawn passes through another pawn. Let's take and go 94 here. Um, let's go here and takes. Thank you, thank you, en passant. But of course, then again, the, the true the true expert on the French language, XQC, said N peasant. So it's kind of hard to figure out what the right saying is after all. Because XQC is one of the foremost authorities on the French language. Um, so I hit the juicer on C4. Uh, whoa. What is this? If I take... Ah, I found an interesting move. Hmm. That's actually not a bad move. I didn't see that. I'll take and just play this slow. Maybe I even just castle here in Kingish 1. He is in a... Yeah. Go here. I guess he can go back, though. He doesn't have to actually trade. I don't like my position here. I'm French, as, as I, I'm. It's it's pronounced as you did it for sure. XUC trolling. No, X, the, the, What's ridiculous about what XUC said is that he wasn't actually trolling when he said it. Like he just didn't know the word, and so his pronunciation was horrendous. That's actually why it's really funny. Is because he wasn't trolling. He just didn't know the word, and so he thought it was some American word, and he just like he completely destroyed the, the meaning. Okay, I'm going to go knight e4 and c4 and bishop a3 here. I have knight e4, I have c4. Go here now. I have f5, maybe c4, lever the queen. Oh, but he can just go... Oh, I missed this. But I guess I have knight g3, knight f5 maybe. I can also rotate the bishop here. What is this? Okay, let's go here. I'm going to play bishop e3 and knight e4. Let's go back. Probably I rotate like this in knight d5 maybe? Oh, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time with these moves. They don't do anything for me. Let's go back this way. Maybe knight f5 now. Krikor is Brazilian. Yes, he is. He is also a streamer. I don't know if he's streaming this, but he is, he is a streamer. Why do you follow XCC's term of juicer? So being yourself is so much better. What do you mean by being yourself is so much better? I've actually misplayed this quite severely, so I need to come up with something. Do something a little bit bold here with B4. Maybe D4, C5. I feel like I'm mis this is the game that I'm really playing badly. Probably the first game that I've played a very bad game altogether. Yeah, rook E8. Play a3 maybe though. Oh, he's streaming. Oh, I didn't know he's. Oh, I didn't know he's streaming. Okay. I didn't know he was streaming right now. Okay. Uh huh. Cool. Let's go here. Hit the juicer. He trades. I trade. 
He's already misplaying this because now it's not the end game that I think he wants. I can play b5, not h3 because then he eats the pawn. I can also go back. I can also just go. I don't really like b5. Don't like rook a1 either. I gotta come up with a move here. Not up a lot of time. Let's go c5. Let's go for tricks here. That's actually a hor horrible move, as I just realized. But I can still maybe go here. Cakes and 96. Go for complications. Wait, what's that? Wait, can I go here maybe? Maybe d4? Yeah, he's really misplaying this now. Okay, e4, now queen e3. And this is going to go very bad for Krikor in a very, very, very quick second. Go here. I b5 coming. Go here. Go here, stop at 4. Go b5, rook c1, double stack. This is going to get really bad for Krikor. Very, very fast. Doesn't do anything, I don't think. Actually, maybe that's a good move. Rook c8, f4. Aha. Uh -huh. He found something. Wait a second. He found something. Wait, no. Maybe this and just queen d4 is clean. Go. Now I go rook c8. He has to trade, and then he just loses the game. Because now the rook is under attack, so he can no longer push the juicer. I thought Krikor streamed on Twitch. He streams on YouTube now? Does he? Does he stream? Okay, let's go here, and this is classic triangulation. Um, and he's, he's just, he's in, he's in the right triangle. It's, it's the right triangle, and it's game over. I just take this, and now he can't take, so he loses that. The triangle of death, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a, probably the last game for the for the adoption, so I'm gonna play sharper as opposed to drier. I think you MT Thero for the tier one thing, to color of you for the uh, for the prime as well. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, he does this again. Okay, we're gonna play the same one. We go knight g8 and bishop h6. This is very dubious if he knows what to do, but I don't think Krikor does, as is witnessed by his last couple of moves. Go here, he goes rook c1, I go b6, of course. Uh, I do have a5, I also can just play... No, no, wait a second. Let's just go b6 anyway. If f4, I'm going to just castle, I think. Plays h4, interesting. Let's go f5 anyway. If g4, I just take... Ah, he, he's improved. Let's go here. This might be very dangerous, actually, for me. I'm going to just go here. Take, I just take. Knight d4, I go knight c5. If takes, I take. If knight e6, I take, take, take. I don't actually see it right off. Uh, this might be just losing somehow. Very likely it is. If I take... Oh no, I blundered. Or did I? I did. I just blundered c5. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just blundered that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just blundered that. Oh my gosh. I just missed C5 altogether. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah. There. Oh wow. Yeah, I just blundered for no reason. He's got rookie 5 and I'm just lost. I just missed c5 altogether when I took. Yeah, it's just lost. Oh, 
just blunder this completely. Let me see if there's some way I can find a salvage, but probably there isn't. I have to move fast. If I move fast, maybe he'll still blunder somewhere. I don't think that was the right move. Plays B7. That actually work? Like night before maybe? Wait, no, 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 okay. I don't have that. I'm my king. Okay, let's see. I'm up on time, so I just have to come up with a move here. Knight F6 was also a move, yeah. Knight F6 was maybe also good. Whoa, he's just A3. That's crazy. That's insane. There's gotta be something. Wait, wait, wait. I have a check too. Maybe I can just go. Wait a second. How is there nothing? Queen B6, Bishop F5. Wait, where's my queen? My queen's there. Okay. Oh, I blundered that. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, I just blundered that. I can probably draw. I don't care. I played this so badly. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, that was so bad. Did I have something here is what I'm wondering. I mean, I could have gone queen b6, but I think he had 30 seconds, so he would have been able to draw. That wasn't an int. I just, I missed one move in the tactic. Um, I missed, I missed one move. I don't think I had any... Check takes, check here, takes, he just blocks. Takes here, check here. Queen to seven, queen before. He had too much time. If he had about 10 seconds left, I would have had a chance. Uh, I couldn't take on c5, so I take on c5. Um, With the pawn, he has bishop c4. If I take with the queen, he goes rook c1, and then bishop c4, and everything just collapses in like a very bad manner of speaking. So thank you, midfeed, for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, it all kind of collapses. Yeah. I played something that was dubious, and I pushed my luck. I played it one too many times. That was a mistake. But whatever. This At least now the Brazilians aren't going to be, aren't going to want to kill me. So that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, play some more juicy. Eh, not really feeling it. Um, yeah, play narrow. Mm. All right. B7 was wrong. Rook takes E5 and you're back in the game. Rook takes E5 what move? Wait, Rook E5 what move? Wait, 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 what, what move? Rookie five where? You mean here, rookie five? Rookie five and then what? How am I in the game here? I don't understand, how am I in the game here? Oh, I have knight f6 or something? I have knight f6 maybe? Hmm. Uh. Then H, yeah, I don't know. Probably there, there was something, but yeah. But it still was a bad game. I mean, Crickor found C5, which is a very nice move. I just, I mean, once he went F4, I missed, I just missed this whole thing. 
It was just bad. Maybe I could have played E4. Still feels very bad somehow. It probably is just bad. But anyway, yeah. Among Us with OTV would be fun. I think they have a full lobby right now, so... Yeah. Hmm. All right, you guys. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I know it's a little bit early, but I think I'm gonna call it call it for now. Um, I just I have some plans later, so uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna bounce. No, I'm not laughing at Crickor at all. No, not at all. I'm a big fan of Crickor, so uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not um I'm not scared of Dania. It's just I if I get going in a long match, it's gonna get going, then I'm gonna have to run at, at a very inopportune moment, which means my rest of my evening is gonna be very unhappy too. So I'm gonna call it a day, you guys.